Hey everybody, I'm Dan Duquette and welcome back to Ness and Nation, brought to you by Coors Light, proud sponsor of the Boston Bruins. The Bruins are taking on the San Jose Sharks late here on Thursday night, and so far it's been a battle, but what else would you really expect? These two teams are very tough. Even though the Sharks are down in standings, they're playing like a team that is more of the like that went to the Western Conference Finals last year and not the team that's actually in 10th place at the standings. Wasn't sure before the game which way it's going. Looks like the Sharks are here to play. So that got me kind of thinking, along with some help from some Twitter followers, who would win in an actual fight between a literal bear and a literal shark? We're assuming that the arena is probably half water, half land, just to give them a fair shot. And uh, some of the answers were pretty interesting about how it would go. We tried to put aside some biases, but let's be honest, most of us are pulling for the bear. Here's what our Twitter followers had to say, though. FX says, I guess if you gave the Sharks superpowers, like the ability to hover in midair, it'd win. I can't see of any possibility. Although, if the Sharks just hanging out in midair and just floating, he's probably a pretty easy target for the bear to swipe out of, you know, just grab him. But maybe if he has a jetpack or something, uh, that, could, that could liven things up for sure. Uh, Rhonda says, a Bruin is the biggest bear there is, and they are famous for standing in swift freezing water to catch and eat their prey. True, but I don't think sharks usually hang out in swift freezing water. I was thinking this would probably be some big saltwater pool that the bear would just wander over to and then try to take a swipe at the shark and see who came out on top. But yeah, in a freshwater stream, obviously you got to give the edge to the bear. Uh, Corey Hayward says, considering bears poach fish for food, I'd put my money on the bear. But sharks are shifty, could get a lethal bite in early. That's the thing. I think that it would only take really one big hit by either one of them to knock the other one out and uh while the shark can't go on land the bear can go into water so he would have to pretty much venture into the shark's home territory in order to throw down so once he sneaks up to the water he better see that shark first because if the shark takes a shot at the bear when he's not prepared things could get ugly that's the way it works out so far with the shark striking first and getting that first goal luckily Bruins are still on their feet, and they'll have a chance to fight back in this one. Stay tuned to Nesson to see how it turns out. As always, you can catch up on everything you missed at Nesson.com slash nation. And you can follow us on Twitter at Nesson Nation live chat during the games and for your chance to be in videos just like this one. As always, go Bruins.